we made it to Bratislava with such a quick train ride. And it's gorgeous. We're gonna grab a bite to eat because I'm hangry. So I gotta fuel up and try some Slovakian food. Or would you say Slovak food? I think it's Slovakian. Yeah. Gonna grab a bite to eat. Thank you. Um, we can put that here. Okay, how do you say this again? Brinza Vehavuski. Brinza Halushki. Brinza ve Pirohi. And the Pirohi, which is like a pierogi. Yay, thank you. So the Brinza of Halushki, I don't know if I say that right, is the national dish of Slovakia. So I'm excited to try it. It's um, like a sheep's cheese, sheep cheese, a certain kind. And that's the same cheese that's inside the pierogies. So the Brinzov Halushki tastes kind of like gnocchi with the cheese on top. It's absolutely delicious. How is yours? Really good. Uh, I had the Brinzov Halushki, no. Halushki. Halushki. <laughs> it's basically something with the cheese. Mm -hmm. The Brinzov is the sheep cheese and they have it on everything. Something like that. It's really good. I approve. How do you say it? Brinzov. Brinzov. So it's like pierogies with the sheep cheese. Mm. It's so well. Look at the texture. It's like mm. super chewy and thick. It looks good. So good. And the bacon on all of this is like really fatty and kind of smoky. It's amazing. So much good for you. I'm really getting fueled up now. <laughs> I'm feeling better. <laughs> now I'm in a food coma. But we got a rally so we can see all of the town. And then we're taking a catamaran back to Vienna in just a couple hours. Cute little cake shop. Brought us Lavo rolls. So cute. All the little alleyways. So here's the main square here in the center of Old Town and we're gonna walk down these streets. They're so cute to the Blue Church. So we stopped at this cute little vintage store and I got a couple of really cute pieces. They're only three euros each, so I'm happy. There's a lot of cake shops here. <laughs> Why not? It does seem like a lot of places here are trying to be a little Americanized and trendy which I didn't really expect. They're all very cute. Okay, so here's the blue church and uh, casual Illuminati logo. Not sure what that's about, but it's a landmark. such a cute street. I wish this wasn't under construction, but imagine. I love all the pastels. There's lots of wine shops, vintage stores, cake shops. You can get all different kinds of food here. Thank you. 
Rusky. That's Slavki Rusky. I have them in the window, those little things. Cute little old store. Is called? How do you say it? Bratis, Bratislavski. Bratislavski Roski. Bratislavski Roski. This is plural. Bratislavski Rozok is singular. Oh. Okay. Thank you. They call it Tatra tea because, you know, in high Tatras, in the mountains, there is uh, many, Altitude. many uh, it's quite cold there, oh. so. They drink it to be warm. Oh, <laughs> oh, really we're gonna try. Okay, we're gonna try these. We've seen these little things everywhere. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mm. It has a filling. Mm. I like the texture. It's really um. Uh, it's like flaky. Mm hmm Like tastes kind of like pie crust with filling, maybe. Pretty good. Person. McDonald's. All the gelato places have huge lines everywhere. We had a super fun day in Slovakia. We just stayed for about four hours, and honestly, that was plenty of time. So I highly recommend a day trip. You can really see everything in just a couple hours. And now we are taking the ferry back to Vienna on the river. You can see the UFO behind us. That's the UFO. And it's about an hour and a half back to Vienna on the river. Thank <laughs> you. 